Simplify for four marks. Okay, so um, inside this bracket, there is nothing that we can really do. I mean, yeah, we might do something a little bit later, but for now, let's just leave that alone. There's not much we can do there. If there was a number on the outside, then we would do a little bit more. So I'm just gonna leave that one for now. Although, what is this part? We know that anything to the power of zero is just gonna be a one. So we can actually just take that out completely. You could put a one there if you wanted to, but that doesn't change anything. So we're just gonna do that. Okay, that's my z squared. Um, we could keep it in a bracket as well. And then two to the three and x7. Okay, nothing we're gonna change there. Now here's where we're gonna change quite a bit. The square root of 36 is six. But now what do we do with this and what do we do with this? Well, remember, if you have like x to the eight over there, this is called an exponent. And then you've also got a number over here. If there is no number there, then it's automatically taken as a two. So the exponent rule tells us that you're gonna say x, and then you're gonna take this number divided by this number, which would become a four, like that, okay? So if you take this number divided by this number, that's gonna be a three. And if you then take this number divided by this number, that would become a two. Okay, now you can actually just take this bracket away. That bracket's not really doing anything. So now what we can do is you could, there's multiple ways that you could carry on here. One of them is that this six and this six can cancel out. But if you chose not to cancel it out right now, that's also okay. It would eventually cancel later on. So I'm gonna cancel that at this step, okay. Then I know that this is eight. Two to the power of three is eight. So I'm just gonna go put minus eight in the front. This minus is still there. And I also know then that this x3 and this x7, what is that gonna be? It's not gonna be x21 because we are multiplying these parts, but what do you do at the exponents? You just add them together. So that's gonna be 10, okay? and then you're gonna get um, z to the power of two. At the bottom, we can't do anything. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at these parts. You gotta know your exponent rules. So what is x10 over x3? Well, the exponent rule says that you take the top number minus the bottom number. So that'll be x7. So this is gonna give us negative eight x7. The z2 is still at the top. Nothing's happening there, and nothing's gonna happen to this y2, so that'll stay at the bottom. And that would be our final answer.